I hired a psychic to draw my soulmate, and we're gonna see if we can find her. So let's see what my soulmate looks like. I'm super excited to see it. <laughs> uh, what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So first, let's read the description, because, you know, she, she's, she's a psychic, so she can also know what she's like. She has a benevolent, patient, creative, and emotional character. She also has high persuasion power, except for the patient part, kind of sounds like me. She's very sensitive, emotionally, and her intuition is strong. She can easily recognize the intentions of the people around her. She always seeks goodwill and compassion in the people around her. Well, that's, that's a strange way of wording. Okay, she is not open to criticism. I <laughs> see it is me. Her her job is psychologist and life coaching. And that is very specific because everything else was just like, she likes things. And this was just like, this is her actual whole ass job. Let's take a look at the picture. Why does she look hella familiar? Is this like an actual drawing? Because it feels like, like a picture just being put through a, through a filter, but. Anyway, over to the next phase. Did you know that there's a lot of witchcraft people, witches, that <laughs> who try to predict their soulmate's first initial using a candle and a bowl of water. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, there's my special water and it's uh, room temperature. <laughs> So the water I just picked up is demineralized water because I read that it needs to be the cleanest possible water or rain water, but I don't know how the heck I'm gonna catch any rain water to fill a bowl with. All right. Ceramic. Bowl, very important according to YouTube. And shout out to the girl who helped me find this in the store. I did look at your name tag, but she seemed very concerned about me drinking all of this. In case you're wondering, Quinton, do you actually believe in witchcraft stuff? The answer is I'm agnostic, so kinda. I do believe that there's a lot of things in the universe that we have no idea idea about though. Oh, whose hair is this? Anyway, I'm gonna light this real quick. We need better aesthetics. We need better aesthetics. One second. Oh! Hey Siri, do not disturb. Huh? Oh uh, dude, this music slaps. Okay, the aesthetic changed nothing when I closed the windows. This is just not gonna fly. There we go. This is cool. Candlelight videos. Everyone loves that. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is dripping the candle wax into the water while concentrating on what an important letter would be regarding my soulmate. Hopefully spelling out their first letter. Fun fact, I once used to date someone who so much believed into this that she didn't want to do it because she said if anything else but a Q would show up, she would immediately leave me. She did end up leaving me for significantly worse reasons, but still, hey, did I mention we're in my bathroom? <laughs> Let's turn on the lights and see if we got anything. I should probably not touch it, by the way, because that would probably ruin it. Oh, I'm so good. Oh my god, am I gonna have to get a letter out of this? Wait, is that a P? Is that a P? Or a U? From a different perspective. Oh, that's a uterus! My soulmate's a woman? Wait a second! I need a second opinion from the coolest people out there. You. Right, so I put a question out on both Twitter as well as on Instagram stories, what kind of letters you guys are seeing. I'm holding my hand like this because I actually don't know where I place my phone, so please edit a phone perfectly onto my hand for a second. Yes, thank you, that, that is great. However, there is also something that you need to consider for a second. You see, my friend Jared actually contacted me with a picture of the same psychic person who has been exposed <laughs> for not actually drawing images but taking existing stock images and putting a filter over it. Which I kind of thought from the beginning because that drawing is just way too good. However, that doesn't need to mean that she's fake and that I wasted 20 euros on this. Because what if she's just kind of like this? Oh man, I am so clairvoyant and like a psychic and stuff and I'm so good at finding people's soulmates but alas, I cannot draw. If only there was a way for me to visualize people's soulmates the way I see them in my mind. Wait, what if I simply find a stock photo that sort of resembles the person and I make it seem like I drew it? That way people have to believe in my completely real gift that doesn't waste people's 20 euros. That must have been it. So the results are in and someone immediately also agreed with me by seeing the P and the U. However, some people saw some other stuff. One person saw pretty much the entire alphabet. Some saw the letter R, a lot saw the letter S and L, and a lot saw that it looked like a fetus. But you know what was funny to me when people said that it looked like an S, the large one? So basically, I have been saying, even on my podcast, that I, I feel like I once predicted the future that I would end up with someone named Stephanie. But then yesterday I realized, what if I just end up with someone whose name starts with an S? It's why I have this. This is another witchcraft thing. It was not for a video. I just, I do this stuff in my free time. I'm kind of cool like that. So now what we got is we got what my future soulmate is supposed to look like. We know that she works in like the psychology-esque field. And we know that her name might start with a P, a U, an S, or an L. Maybe her name is just Puzzle. Oh my god. Puzzle. This is the universe telling me that I'm currently figuring something out. All we gotta do now 
is find puzzle. <laughs> you know, actually, oh, I don't want to say that again. It sounds like pus. To social media. All right, it's the next day and my hair is looking even worse. Oh my God. <laughs> I look like Einstein. All right, so yesterday what I did is I created a post for both TikTok and on Instagram. So for TikTok, I posted this video. It's in Dutch, so you're gonna have to read some subtitles for a little bit. Jongens, ik heb voor een video een helderziende ingehuurd om mijn ware soulmate te tekenen en te vertellen wie dit gaat zijn. Dit hier is de afbeelding die ze mij gaf. Dus ben jij deze persoon of ken jij deze persoon? Werk jij in psychologie of life coaching? En begint jouw naam met een P, een U, een S of een L? En ben je 18 plus? Ik weet dat ik daar een vraag over ga krijgen. 18 plus jongens, ik ben 23. Comment dan heel eventjes, zodat deze video nog interessanter kan worden. And I created this Instagram post with these four images, which essentially just explain what the heck is going on. She looks like a female Quentin, especially the eyes. <laughs> she looks half Asian. She doesn't look like me at all. Anyway, I would definitely date a female version of me. Let's not get things twisted. Oh, many people have actually said that she looks like Millie Bobby Brown. I don't see it. And Millie Bobby Brown is like 15 or something, so that's a little bit weird. Someone actually said she looks like my psychologist, which is funny because the description says she should be a psychologist. But the real gems are in the TikTok comments. <laughs> she looks like Anne Frank. She looks like Greta Thunberg. She looks like Charlie D'Amelio. She looks like my friend who is 11 years old. Bruh. <laughs> oh, and someone said she looks like Bella Porch. You know, the girl on TikTok who does this. And I mean, I, I wish. <laughs> But the funny thing is someone also said, what if your soulmate just hasn't been born yet or she's too young currently? And then I realized, everyone was saying that the wax looked like an unborn embryo. What if she still needs to be born? And I'm just gonna be one of those 41 year olds dating an 18 year old. <laughs> it's the only logical explanation. Oh my God. Imagine dating someone born in 2020. Dude, am I gonna be 41 in 2031? No, wait, that makes no sense. Never mind. <laughs> so, did I end up finding my soulmate? No. Did I possibly get scammed? No. Did I get a ton of heavily underage girls in my DM saying, ah, I'm your soulmate? Yes. If you're curious about the time that I created the craziest OnlyFans ever and how much I made during that, you can click right there or the link down below in the description. I post a video every Wednesday and every video is basically this crazy idea or shenanigan that I'm trying to make happen. I do all of that to hopefully entertain you but to also show you that it's okay to have these kind of crazy ideas and to actually make them happen. But of all, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to see you next time.